we'd like to be able to produce convincing human motions of many different kinds from examples. To retain control of the qualitative properties of the motion, we annotate motions with natural descriptions, like the ones that appear here. Of course, we wish to constrain the motion synthesis with these annotations. We do this by painting them on the timeline for the motion. We then search a collection of motions for blocks that have the correct annotation and join up smoothly. In this example, we are authoring a motion where the actor walks and waves. On the right, we see the vocabulary of annotations that we chose for this data set. It is easy to change vocabulary. Each time the search refines the solution, the view is updated so the actor appears to jump. A red box in the top right hand corner shows the search is still running. Fairly quickly, it settles down to the final motion shown here. On this timeline, we direct the actor to run, but he's running backwards. We apply a run annotation and a negative annotation for backwards at the same time. This forces him not to move backwards when he runs. Our search is efficient, meaning that we can synthesize motions with complicated annotations interactively. Here we require the actor to crouch, then jump, then run. When the cursor is over an annotation, its label appears on the top left corner. Often, we would like a motion to arrive at a particular spot in a particular orientation. We use a position constraint, the second arrow, to compel motions to arrive at a desired state. Here the actor must run forwards, then run backwards, and arrive at the constraint. We use frame constraints to compel the actor to adopt specific configurations at specific frames. Here we require the actor to skid into a crouch, then run and jump. The skid is given by a frame constraint. Annotations can be composed to yield complicated demands. Here we require the actor to crouch, run, and jump while running. The motion authoring is interactive. The shots of the authoring screen accurately reflect just how quickly we can author motions on an ordinary PC.